NRG Dynamics, or Energy Dynamics, get it? Well, that's the name of a small startup company in Michigan that's developing hydraulic hybrids. Instead of storing brake energy in chemical form in a battery, they store it as hydraulic pressure in a tank under the vehicle. In this case, a Ford Ranger. It's a whole lot cheaper and offers intriguing possibilities. Jim O'Brien, the president of the company, explains how it works. If a new technology has to be successful quickly, it has to integrate into existing architecture. So we designed our drop-in hybrid technology where literally this bolts in as easily as an automatic transmission. This vehicle we kept as close to stock Ford as possible. It has the 2.3 liter, uh, 2009 2.3 liter engine in it. Uh, has the standard differential, uh, standard everything else. Uh, it, uh, and our unit is mounted where the transmission used to be. Uh, we had to add three electrical connectors and I believe about 30 splices into the wire harness. Uh, and then we had to add a little reservoir for where we fill and drain uh, the unit under the engine compartment. Uh, the entire integration process from stock ranger to our unit installed and driving uh, was less than six and a half hours with two people. The hydraulic hybrid pretty much looks like any Ford Ranger, but it's pretty noisy when you accelerate. That noise is one of the hurdles they have to overcome, but remember, it is still under development. One thing that impressed me is that while this is a prototype vehicle, the installation is very clean both underneath the vehicle and in the engine compartment. You can see how they were able to keep this Ranger about as stock as it comes. In the EPA City Cycle, we've done as well as 38 miles to the gallon with this truck. Uh, the performance is really more up to the OEM that wants to use the technology than it is a limit of the technology. But our real goal is actually to compete with automatic transmissions. We anticipate that we would have a $500 or so delta long-term price differential between us and an automatic transmission. So the electric hybrids, we just think they're all way too expensive. I'm intrigued about the possibilities for hydraulic hybrids, especially for body-on-frame vehicles, where there's plenty of storage room between the frame rails for hydraulic storage tanks. The fact that they can deliver 38 miles per gallon in a Ford Ranger at a cost of about $500 more than an automatic transmission is very promising, because remember, this system allows them to get rid of the transmission so overall, it may only add about $500 to the vehicle. If they figure out how to overcome the noise issues, you could be looking at the future right here.